Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, the place where we not only talk about what's going on in the gun world, but also how we're going to fix it together. And the content that we're going to talk about today is the ATF deciding to pee in somebody's Cheerios when Minnesota gets the legislative victory they've been looking for forever for wacky tobacco. You cannot make this up, and if this doesn't scream, look at me, I need attention, I don't know what does from the ATF. Everything will be linked in the description box below. I cannot wait to hear what you guys think down there, because this video is ripe for amazing comments. And make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn the notification bell on. We have got freedom to spread, and we would love to have you along for the ride. And the content today is brought to you by Lear Capital. And the content today is brought to you by Lear Capital. Now, we all know there's either a recession here or it's right around the corner. And it's an amazing time to partner with a company like Lear Capital for your precious metals to provide a safe haven for your stacking needs, but also for your potentially retirement accounts. They have been in business for over 25 years. They have thousands of five-star reviews. They have a 24-hour pricing guarantee. This is something that is at least worth an informational call. There's a number on your screen right now and see if you qualify for $15,000 in precious metals and additional metals should that order qualify again. Thank you so much to Lear Capital for making this content possible. Make sure you guys call the number on the screen to find out your options to safeguard your financial future. All right, my brothers and sisters, this one, I'm just gonna let you read it out in the comments. All right, let's get into this. So here's some backstory. Now we're gonna be talking about Mary Jane, wacky tobacco, that stuff, the stuff I can't really say. Well, if you guys will recall, last year we covered a story about how the top Democrat in Florida was suing the Biden administration over wacky tobacco and the impediment to gun rights in that state. The whole premise is it's a medical, medical uh, substance in the state of Florida, so why are you being basically or persecuted against for your gun rights when it's a Second Amendment right, and a Democrat was doing it. We covered it. It was peak irony. But here's what we did to remind you, and then I'm going to show you how the ATF and its quest for relevance steps into Minnesota. Top Florida Democrat sues Biden administration over Mary J. Wacky tobacco and guns. Just again, this is from April of last year. Tallahassee, Florida, Florida's lone statewide elected Democrat Agricultural Commissioner Nikki Free plans to sue the Biden administration Wednesday to try to block a federal rule that prohibits medical marijuana users from buying guns or maintaining concealed carry permits because it's a constitutional right. It's legal in Florida. Why is it a, why is it a problem? Well, the ATF is very quickly there and ready to tell you it's a federal problem, so check this out. The lawsuit targets a federal form that asks whether the gun buyer is an unlawful user of drugs and specifies that wacky tobacco is illegal under federal law. A person allowed by the state to use wacky tobacco must then check yes, which results in a denial of the purchase. Lying by checking no runs the risk of a five-year prison sentence for making a false statement. So that was the premise of the, of the lawsuit. Well, Minnesota just legalized said wacky tobacco. And ATF has got to pee in their Cheerios, as I said. Check this out. If this is not a scream for relevance, I don't know what is. Check it. ATF, until recreational cannabis is federally legalized, those users cannot own guns. Oh, they, they can't? Hmm. St. Paul, Minnesota. The Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives on Tuesday released clarification for gun owners and potential gun owners with Minnesota's recreational cannabis bill officially signed into law. So Minnesota comes out and says, hey, we finally have recreational use for the wacky tobacco. And ATF goes, um, we just are here to tell you that, that you can't do that. <laughs> Make sure, we're going to tweet it. We're going to tweet it. I'm going to show you in a second. <laughs> Let's keep going, because you can't make this stuff up. According to the ATF St. Paul Field Division, the Federal Gun Control Act of 1968 prohibits anyone who is an unlawful user of any controlled substance, as defined by the later Controlled Substances Act of 1970, from shipping, transporting, receiving, or possessing firearms or ammunition. You know, every once in a while you just get the vibe where it's like any way that they can tell you you can't, tr you can't transport, possess, sell, anything, import, kind of like they just want to do it. Anyway, here's the actual tweet that they threw out right after this signed into law, because again, hear me roar. Regardless of the recent changes in Minnesota law related to wacky tobacco, an individual who is current user of wacky tobacco is prohibited from shipping, transporting, receiving, or possessing firearms or ammunition. Read for details. <coughs> Hunter Biden. I'm <coughs> sorry, it's going around. I got one more thing for you, because here's, here's the actual quote from the field agents. Quote, until marijuana, oh, can't say that word, is legalized federally, firearm owners and possessors should be mindful that it remains federally illegal to mix 
Mary Jane, with firearms and ammunition, said ATF's acting special agent in charge, Jeff Reed of the St. Paul Field Division. As regulators of the firearms industry and enforcers of firearms law, we felt it was important to remind Minnesotans of this distinction as the wacky tobacco laws are just here in the state of Minnesota. Anyone looking to purchase firearms must confirm if they are an unlawful user of cannabis on ATF Form 4473 during a firearm transaction. And if you don't, you're going to jail for five years. But if you do, you're not getting your Second Amendment rights. Even though it's legal within the boundaries of the state of which we are talking, it is not legal federal. Therefore, we have power. Therefore, hear me roar. Look at my tweet. And that's what I've got for you guys. Does this sound like a, I don't know, kind of a cry for relevance to anybody else? Anyway. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and I will see you on the next one. I'm Braden. See you later.